Hello, this is Ross Plasco, and welcome to my new Rubber Hose Run Cycle tutorial. If you don't already have Rubber Hose, just go to battleaxe.co and use discount code ROSS for $10 off. That's battleaxe.co and use discount code ROSS for $10 off. As this is a special episode, I'm also offering my actual After Effects file, so you can download that and have a look at my finished work. So let's start from the beginning. New composition, 1000 by 1000 24 frames a second, uh, anything above uh, 10 seconds, I'm going with 15 seconds for some reason, okay. Uh, pen tool, click a point, hold down shift to make a perfectly straight line, click another point, there we have the foot, call that front foot. I'm going to use butt capper to make it a round cap, so it looks nice and round. And I'm going to change the anchor point using Y, I'm going to change the anchor point to the left side of the foot, right where the ankle is, right where we want it to rotate from. On the layer I'm going to press P for position, then I'm going to right click on the word position, and click separate dimensions. I'm going to make a keyframe for each of these, and then I'm going to click R and make a rotation keyframe, then I'm going to click U to show all existing keyframes. We only have three, X position, Y position and rotation. I'm going to move all these keyframes up to right on the five second mark, I'm going to click B, then I'm going to go to five and a half seconds and move one frame back and hit N. Now our loop is exactly half a second long. I'm going to move one frame to the right and uh, make another set of keyframes. Now I'm just going to highlight both of these X keyframes, hold down shift, and I'm going to move them to the right a little bit. Now I'm going to move halfway in between these two sets of keyframes and make another keyframe where the foot is at the back. So now what we have is a backwards and forwards motion. When the foot is at the back, we want it to be up off of the ground, so uh, move it up. And then also make the rotation like this. Move halfway between the first set of keyframes and the middle set of keyframes. And then copy and paste the Y and rotation keyframes so that the foot is flat on the floor uh, for a few frames before it goes up in the air. Also take the uh, the last keyframe and the first keyframe of rotation and rotate them back because uh, the foot, when feet land on the floor, they're usually at an angle and then they go flat. Then take the second frame, the rotation, and make it zero. That's what this looks like now. Take the two middle Y keyframes and easy ease them. Then I'm going to take the middle X keyframe and ease out and then take the last one and ease in. That will make a nice curve there. I'm going to go uh, the frame before the middle X keyframe and make another keyframe where it is slightly to the left. I'm also going to go halfway and make another X keyframe and then I'm going to easy ease this keyframe. Then I'm going to go just before the last keyframe where the ankle is touching the ground and move one frame back and then move it up a little bit more. But that will make an easy eased keyframe so hold down command and click on it and make it back into a normal keyframe again. Then we'll go to the middle Y keyframe, go one frame ahead and just click up and down to make another keyframe but it's exactly where it was. And then one keyframe ahead of that we're going to move it down. Then two frames ahead of the middle rotation keyframe, we're going to rotate it back a little bit more, and then easy ease all of the rotation keyframes. And then the last thing we're going to do on the foot, on the first keyframe where the foot is off of the ground, there, we're going to rotate it so that the toe is still touching the floor. Okay, that's a nice looking foot. We're going to make another one. Duplicate, call it back foot. Move it to the bottom, and then I'm going to highlight all of the keyframes and offset them by half of the loop. Then, of course, there is no keyframes back here, but I don't want to copy and paste all of these keyframes and then have loads of unnecessary keyframes, so I'm going to apply a looping expression to all of these um, properties. I'm going to alt-click on X position, and I'm going to type out loop, cap, loop in with a capital I, two brackets, plus loop out with a capital O, 
two brackets minus value semicolon. Copy and paste. I'll put this in the video description so you can just copy and paste as well. Copy and paste that into the Y position and the rotation position you get there by alt clicking on the stopwatch. So now we have two feet running perfectly, if I do say so myself. Let's make a body. Pen tool, shortcut G. Just going to make a, a just your regular looking body, make the stroke width that thick, make the round cap, uh, change the anchor point to the hip position. Now when a, uh, during a run cycle the body will go up and down two times. Once for each step you take. You take two steps so it's going to go up and down two times. Two keyframes, in the middle of these two keyframes, push it up and then easy ease and then uh, select the keyframe that is at the top and go into wave editor, uh, the speed graph and then change it to 75%. Uh, there is also a plugin called Motion 2, which I use. It does exactly the same thing, except uh, you don't have to go into the wave editor, but you'll see what happens there. Much easier. Let's go out of the wave editor. And uh, we're going to apply the position loop expression again. OK, there's the body and the feet. Now we're going to add the legs. Uh, but first I'm going to delay the position of the body by one frame. I delay the body by one frame because of weight. When you land on your foot uh, in, a, in a run, your, your body will go down, but then it will keep going down. So uh, to do that, uh, just delay the uh, position of the body by one frame. Let's make the legs, build, rubber hose, hip and ankle, new rubber hose. Pop the ankle on top of the foot there and pop the hip on top of the body. Is that the front foot? Yes, it's the correct foot. We're going to parent this ankle to the front foot, which is the one that we uh, overlaid it onto. Uh, parent the hip to the body. And now you will see it looks terrible. Hide the selectors because they're a bit distracting. Change the hose color to the color of the body. And cha also change the stroke thickness so we can actually see what's going on. Then click ankle and then change the hose length. Oh, also uh, click hose and then make it a uh, butt cap. Let's see what's happening here. Oh, that looks nice. In my work, I personally have knees uh, instead of just bendy hoses, so I change the bend radius to zero. There's a little bit of a... Uh, um, um, you can see the corner of the hose there. So I'm going to move the... Uh, I'm going to try and hide that as best I can. Yeah, that works. Now I'm going to duplicate this hose by highlighting the hose itself. Go to Manage times two, duplicate selected hose group, click that, and then drag this all the way to the bottom. Then also drag the front foot all the way to the top so that we don't get confused. Now I'm going to grab the ankle and I'm going to unparent it from the front foot. I'm going to move forward in time so that the back foot is where it needs to be in position. Then I'm going to reparent this ankle to the back foot. Now we should have two working legs. Fantastic. I really want to differentiate between the two legs, so I'm going to make an adjustment layer and pop it below the body, but in front of the back foot and back hose. I'm going to uh, make a fill, make it black, but then uh, change the transparency of the adjustment layer to 10%, so we can see that the back leg is darker. Maybe a little bit more, uh, 20%. I don't particularly like how long these legs are, so I'm going to move all of the body keyframes down. And I'm going to shorten both of the legs. If I change the hose length of one hose, then I want it to immediately affect the other one without having to go and uh, change it 
two times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a hose length keyframe. Then I'm going to click U on that. Go to the other ankle, create a hose length keyframe as well. Click U. But now I'm just going to pick whip this hose length to that hose length. Then I can delete that keyframe, close it, and then whatever I do to this one will affect the other one, as you can see here. It's affecting both legs at the same time if I shorten the hose length. Do I delay the body by another frame? That does look a little bit better, a bit more springy. Maybe I'll make the first and last keyframe for the body a bit lower so that his bounce is a bit more. I'm going to add arms, so a pen tool, I'm going to draw kind of like a right angle of an arm. Uh, I can't really see it, so I'm going to change the color of it to just slightly lighter. Uh, do a round, uh, um, round joins, uh, what's it called, a round cap. Then I'm going to change the uh, anchor point to the shoulder. And then also I'm going to give it a little hand. Uh, so duplicate this shape and then make the stroke width of this top shape uh, a little bit bigger. And then we're going to trim paths, so add trim paths and then put it up to 99.9. Uh, .9. And then we'll have a little hand like that. Call this front arm and then parent it to the body. Now we're going to uh, click rotation, make one keyframe there. When the, when the front foot is forward, we want the front arm to be back. And when the front foot is back, we want the front arm to be forward. In the middle, let's rotate it this way. And then at the end, we will uh, just copy and paste the first keyframe. And now, my personal preference is to ease in, but not to, don't easy ease the whole thing, just ease in. So let's see how this works. I'm also going to affect the position of the front arm because I want it to go back when it goes back and forwards when it goes forwards. Set up a few keyframes. Um, pull it back. Pull it forward, just apply the same, the same easing to that. Could that be sooner? No, it needs to be... No, it seems about right. Duplicate the front arm, pull it to the bottom, delay these keyframes and then apply the loop in, loop out expression. I'm going to add a head. I'm going to make it a circle. Call it head. And I'm going to parent it to the body change the anchor point to the neck position and that's what it looks like. I don't know why I have this open, I'm going to hide this. Um, I like to scale the body, it makes it look a little bit more bouncy, so on body, S for scale, unlink these, uh, make a keyframe at the beginning, a keyframe halfway, and then a keyframe in between these. And then when it's at the top, highlight the first and the third one, and then we're going to make it longer and thinner by the same amount, by 4%, maybe 5%. So 95 and 105 for both of these. And then on this one, we're going to make it flatter by 5% and wider by 5% and then uh, easy ease and apply the loop in loop out expression.
obviously we should probably delay the scale by one frame. And that's a nice run. Maybe move the head up and down. Loop in, loop out expression again. It's all a matter of uh, just experimenting, just moving, just literally just moving these frames around one one by one to just find out what looks best. If I'm being quite cartoony with it, then what I like to do is rotate the body forwards and backwards. But not twice, just back and forth over the whole of the uh, maneuver. So uh, the middle minus six, and then I guess the uh, beginning and end plus six. So see how that looks. Maybe uh, let's offset it. So let's apply the loop in loop out expression. And then we can just experiment and just move it around to see what looks best. Maybe none of it looks best. Maybe it just looks rubbish. Maybe my ideas are trash. Um, What's great, so, so this is basically done now. Uh, what's great about After Effects is that you can take your own artwork. Let's say I just draw the other character right here just real quick. So I just draw a new head and I draw some eyes. I'm gonna do this just real quick. Uh, draw some eyes. Duplicate the path, make another set, uh, duplicate the shape, change the color to like a, a blue, and then lessen the strokes. All this eyes. Give him like a little bandana. Round cap. Uh, open mouth. And then I can just parent the mouth and the eyes to the new head. Head two. So they're all parented to the head, right? So all I have to do is just put the head over this other head, right? And then parent it to that head and then make that head not exist. And now I have some artwork. You can do the same with the arms and the body and the legs and uh, the After Effects file that is available for download uh, in the description below uh, is going to be a fully fleshed out character with this run cycle. So uh, I hope you really enjoyed this. I hope it was simple enough to follow along. I hope it was quick enough to not get boring and um, I will uh, see you next time. See ya! Bye!